our third episode of Toffee TV. And what am I going to make for you today? I've decided that I'm going to make you pancakes. And why am I going to make pancakes? Well, because I never understood myself what the difference was between a breakfast pancake and a crepe. And today I'm going to make you a crepe. I'm going to put a lot of lovely, delicious chocolate filling in there. So, how do you make a crepe? The word crepe comes from Latin, and the word in Latin is crispus. Go check it out because I will ask you this question at the end. Okay, now to make a crepe batter. First things first, grab a tablespoon and then in your bowl add in four heaped tablespoons of white flour or maida. Next, we're going to add in half a cup of milk which is about 300 mils. Blend the maida or the white flour into the milk. You must blend it so that all the little knobbly bits or the little gutlis as we call them in Urdu disappear. And you get a very nice thick batter. Take your time in doing this, you don't have to rush. If you want, you can use a lovely whisker as well. Once all the knobbly bits begin to disappear, you're going to add in a tiny pinch of salt into your batter. Mix it up. And then finally, one egg. Break it straight in. Now you get to use a fork. So get rid of the spoon because what you're going to do is you're going to whisk the egg in. Finally, for a little secret, which I don't tell anyone, but I'm going to tell you on Turkey TV, I add in a little olive oil into my crepe batter. So, literally one teaspoon. This allows the crepe to become nice and it doesn't stick in the pan. And now, as you can see, I've got this lovely thick batter and there are no little probably bits in it. Next step, frying pan. Get your frying pan on a medium heat. Dump it down. You don't want the batter to burn. Add in one teaspoon of olive oil. Now you can measure it or you can become cool and just literally pour it in the pan so to resemble one teaspoon. After you put in one teaspoon of oil, you're going to put in one heaped teaspoon of butter. I melt the butter down. Now, as you can see, I'm sort of swirling my pan. And what that does is it gets butter on all parts of the pan. But now here's the other trick and secret. Once the entire pan is nicely coated, you pick up the excess butter and you just put it to the side. And why you do this is because sometimes the butter, you know, it melts quite quickly, so you want a larger amount of butter so it stays in the pan and you can get it out. Okay. Now our butter is sizzling away. So we're gonna take a little bit of our crepe batter and pour it from the center in a circular motion in the pan. Look at that. Swirl it a little bit. Make sure everything is nicely coated and you don't get any broken bits in the pan. And now you have to let the batter cook. What you should not do is try and flip it very soon. Don't keep the heat high, otherwise the batter will burn from the base. And you just want it to cook at its own pace. So take your time. See how my crepe is moving in the pan already? That means I might be able to flip it. Okay, now one thing you must remember is until the crepe doesn't start becoming brown on the sides, you do not flip it because that means this part is still pretty uncooked. As you can see, it's getting a bit yellow around there, but it's still white in the center. If I flip it right now, all the crepe batter is going to fall on me. So don't do that. 
and if you're quite young, you get your parents or an elder brother or sister to flip this for you. Okay, so now, as we can see, all the color has become this lovely yellow. That means that the batter has started cooking on this side. And just so we can check, let's see if I can show this to you. That's the color of our pancake at the moment. It's getting a light golden sort of crust. And we want it to become just a little bit more so the edges don't break. Then we'll be ready to flip. So let's count to 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. If you get to flip your pancake well at home, so please write into Toffee TV and so they can send me that info and give me your name at PCI, which is my culinary school, and then you can come here and teach everyone how to flip pancakes properly. Okay, so now, the last minutes. Let's see if we can flip this one more time. Maybe, maybe if we're lucky. Woo! And the pancake broke. Joy. Okay, but that's it. Now we've got this lovely, lovely sort of gorgeous, thick sort of pancake. Let's turn the heat off because what we've got to do next is grab another frying pan, put that on a medium heat and into the pan we quickly put in one teaspoon of butter. And while the butter melts we're going to put in three sort of dessert spoons of brown sugar. Now let's melt this down and let the sugar caramelize so we start getting some lovely brown sugar toffee and of course this is going to go into our final topping. Now once the sugar started melting down, next step we're going to add in a little bit of milk. Be careful at this time because the pan is very hot and the sugar might spit at you. Mix that in. Now you've got to work the sugar into the milk. Now we've got this lovely sort of glaze going. And it's really lovely with all that sugar and butter and the milk. Now as it starts bubbling, you can see little bubbles happening in the pan. We're going to put in about three dessert spoons of chocolate. And mix that in. Take your pan off the heat because the chocolate will start melting immediately and you want everything to work in. Now, I tend to use cooking chocolate, but let's say you don't have cooking chocolate at home, you can use, you know, any other chocolate product you want. For example, a commercial chocolate bar like dairy milk, um, you can use Kit Kat or something like that. It's up to you. Okay, now once this lovely chocolate syrup is ready, let's just add in a little bit more chocolate for fun. And while that melts down, let's get a plate. Let's try and layer this pancake out onto a plate, not break it. And then all we have to do is Drizzle the chocolate into the center, like so. All you do is you slightly fold it so your pancake doesn't disclose, like it hides what's in the lovely center or the treasure chest. Then you take a little bit of chocolate and you just drizzle it on. Then take some chocolate flakes and just sprinkle them all around. And there we go. The most delicious chocolate pancake ever or chocolate crepe. Okay, so now the little quiz. What is a crepe called in Latin? Please send your answers in to Toffee TV so they can send them on to me at PCI and I will see you next time on another Poppy's Kitchen.